It's not a secret that when you're playing mobile games, the more you play it, the bigger it gets, especially if it's an online game. Now you can try clearing the game's data, but just how many times can you do this? So the best way to do is to follow these two options I'm gonna show you guys. The first option will be coming right up. The second option you're gonna have to watch until the end of this video. And if you use both of these methods together, then your game will run super, super smooth. I'm doing this on an LG G6 and it seems to be working just fine for me. The LG G6 is not really a top tier phone. It's an okay performing phone, but I get a lot of lag. Also note that most of these settings will work proper in multiplayer. They work in, in battle royale mode too, but in multiplayer, multiplayer is the smoothest that they will work. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, now would be a good time to hit the subscription button. Also hit the bell icon so that you do not miss a single video upload. I put out a lot of videos. I do a lot of gaming news and I do a lot of gameplay videos. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over into your settings and then go over into audio and graphic settings. So when you're in audio and graphic settings, you want to set your graphic quality to low and set your frame rate to high. So you can either put mid or high. I personally like to put my frame rates really high so you can just follow through and do exactly as I do in this video. Another thing you might want to activate while you're in here is the depth of field. This gives you a more view of the area when you're in first person perspective. Also keep in mind that the graphic settings will only update once you restart the game. Okay, let's jump on over to the control settings. So when you're at this screen, you want to click that gear looking icon next to custom. So once you click that, where it says ADS, ADS simply means aim down sight. Whenever you click the fire button, you aim automatically. I put mine on hip fire. I find this, it's more, it's for me, it works better. You can put yours on ADS if that's what you feel like doing. Actually, you can try these settings, see what works for you. Next up, you're going to want to jump into basic settings. Now make sure what you're seeing on my screen is the same as what's on your screen. Make sure aim assist is on, make sure quick run from prone is on. Just make sure pretty much everything that is ticked to be on on, this, on the screen you're looking at is also on for you as well. And another thing that you want to also activate is you want to set your OS sprint to be on. Um, this has helped me out a lot because sometimes you find you're pushing the joystick but your character is not actually running. So you want to make sure that you have that on and importantly gyroscope please keep that off gyroscope will make you you know whenever you tilt your screen the, the camera moves with you and i find that very disturbing fov range you might want to adjust that to at least 70 as well fov means uh field of view uh, once you're done there you want to go into sensitivity settings and pretty much at all the settings that you see here describe how fast your camera moves i adjusted mine from from the default i adjusted mine by 10. Um, these again these are settings that you can experiment with on your own and see what actually works for you i find what works for me is to adjust them at least by 10 or 15. this includes standard quality ads sensitivity tactical scope sensitivity and sniper scope sensitivity so you might want to adjust this to whatever suits your type of play style. I've seen some people go really, really high, but for me, this is what works for me. So go into your settings, explore, try out new settings, see what works for you, and then come back into the settings if that particular thing is not working for you. So these are experimental type of settings that you can actually do yourself. But if you just want a quick, quick thing, just copy exactly what I'm doing on my screen and you'll be good to go. So before, before we actually jump into gameplay, let me show you guys the second tip that I spoke of earlier. This is actually an application called Game Booster. So you have to use this setting along, uh, sorry, you have to use this application along with the settings that I showed you guys in the beginning. So what this application does is that it closes all your background programs and focuses all your phone's RAM on that game and focuses all the network on that game so that it improves the ping of the game. So yeah, let's jump into the game and see just how well these settings work. This is gameplay of the new Season 6 Rust map and this is my first time playing this map so let's see how this actually goes. 